awesome. I love, I actually love fishing in the rain almost as much as I love fishing in high winds. <laughs> How's it going, fishing freaks? All right, we made it to the lake. And I've got a foosball player here, Mr. Brian Robinson. What's cracking? What's cracking, Brian? How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Just getting the boat ready, trying to go out here and see if we can't catch us some green monsters. Green monsters, baby. There's a. Uh, I even wore yellow for you today. You like that? I'm trying to match. I did. I'm going I, off the maroon pattern. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't wear that maroon stuff because it just doesn't go well with this gray. <laughs> so we got a little window before the rain starts coming in. Uh, we're basically just just gonna go try to catch some fish. We're getting ready for. Uh, his benefit tournament this weekend. So hopefully the rain will hold off and we can catch some fish for a little bit, but usually right before the rain, it's usually good. So we've done enough waiting around. It's time to get on the water and get to fishing. Mr. Brian, if you don't know who he is, uh, he's a football player for the Minnesota Vikings and he smashes people all the time. He even told me this morning that he thinks about fishing while he's on the football field. You gotta respect that. And he's from East Texas. He's an East Texas boy. He's a, he's got a nice boat here. We're about to we're about to start it up, and get it going. He's also got this uh, this new Evinrude on here. I've never never dealt with one of these things. So, oh my gosh! Did you see how quiet that was? It just started up. That's crazy. It's good to go. That's awesome. He's also got this weird floor. I'm not used to. It's like super super slick. Probably good for catfish goo and all that when you get in here, better than carpet. You guys, this water is so clear, man. All this hydrilla back here has got it super clear. That's a nice change of pace from what I've been used to fishing lately. I think it's gonna be a nice uh, fluke bite. I can almost guarantee you they're gonna bite a fluke. It's a weightless flute or lightly weighted. I've got a uh, just a swim bait, natural colored swim bait rigged up too to swim around. Um, they got a frog, I've got a top water. Uh, this looks looks very, very tempting to throw weightless stuff though, I'm telling you. Like a wacky rig or, or a fluke is gonna be real good around this shallow grass area. Oh, dude, you got the uh, the new trolling motor. Yeah, oh. you ever tried that pan optics before? No, oh, you know what? Actually, Tom Reddington showed me it. It's That's awesome, dude. Awesome. So wow. this is everything out in front of you, so that, see how the trolling motor's facing that way? Yeah. So it's showing you everything straight out that way. And you can just rotate it like that. Dude, that is wild. So a lot of times you're just not even pressing the gas on the uh -huh. trolling motor, you're just, you're you just turning like, just to see. like during pre-spawn. Yeah. Dude, it was stupid, the stuff I saw on there. You'd pull into a pocket, get in a drain like this and aim it straight down the deal. And you'd sit there and do this. And all of a sudden you'd see dots, just dot, 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 dot. That's cool. Yeah, go ahead and play with it. Yeah. All right, guys, there you go. There's a little lesson on pan optics from Brian, but uh, that is incredible technology. Throwing this little uh, five and a half inch swim bait here, guys. It looks awesome. Definitely gonna leave this tied on, but I think I'm gonna throw a frog as well and maybe some other top water. It just looks so prime for top water right now. This little storm coming in. That's one good thing when you got storms rolling in right before it can get real good. Oh, oh my gosh, way back in there, dude. He was on the bank. Oh my gosh. Oh God. <laughs> My gosh, it just didn't, that looked like a good one. Yeah. He just came up on it. I missed the spot. Did not eat it. If you don't get bit on that Senko, I'm gonna be scratching my head. There he is. There you go. Oh, first, oh, he came off. Oh, come on. Dang. First fish on the on the swim bait there. He was a small one. Oh yeah! Brian's hooked up. There we go. 
Get him around the tree. First fish confirmed. There we go. Get the skunk off, baby. On the Senko. On the old backlash method. Really? Backlash it, let Slow. it pull it out, and then pick <laughs> it up and there's a fish on it. That's all right. I'll take it. I'll Heck take yeah. it any day of the week. Break the ice. What color are you throwing? Is that just green blue pumpkin? Crawl. Oh, blue crawl. Okay, cool. Yes, sir. It's the old Ocho there. So two bites in this little pocket. Guys, we're seeing beds all over the place. There's got to be just... Hearing fish splash. Yeah. This should, this is prime. Second one coming in. About the same cloth that one is. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he he ate he ate it, ate it. Another one on the uh, the ocho there, guys. I'm resisting throwing the cinco. I'm trying not to too, but still. It's it just gets them. It gets them every time. Go safe fish. I got him. A little safety tip anytime you get a fish in the gills cut the line and work the hook back the opposite way it'll come out they'll be fine you're good to go safety tip from a, a vicious killer <laughs> himself man i just had one crush that swim bait oh, oh god yeah. it's a giant dude it's a giant oh my gosh oh my gosh bro we'll get him we'll get him oh my gosh look at this pig just crushed my swim bait. Holy cow, dude. Dang, man. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Oh, he's hooked good. Woo! Oh How about that, baby? Woo Dang. Heck yeah, son. Guys, look at that sucker right there, man. That is a toad, baby. That is a toad. Dang, stuck with that swim bait and I got that bite. God, I got him right in the top of the lip. That is sweet. Sweet. Dude, that's awesome. Look at that tail. Post spawn tail. Dang, man, that fish is probably pushing seven and a half, eight pounds. It's got a 10 pounder head, that's for sure. Yeah, that's definitely a post spawn fish. Whoo, man. Mercy me, guys. I was on that uh, five and a half inch live magic shad. And I got a, uh, a big, uh, it's a seven on Gamagatsu hook. And uh, throwing a new favorite rod, rush rod. Six, eight. Oh, dang. She yeah. Seven on the first one, though. Pretty skinny. We'll call it seven. Show you guys the swim bait rig here. I usually throw this bait, this five and a half inch live magic shad in like late April and May, but the water's already in the seventies here. So this is a good little bait. It's watermelon red. I either throw a green pumpkin, watermelon seed or watermelon red. Usually I'll dye the tail a little chartreuse too, just give it that bluegill look. And I throw this, this is a, a seven aught uh, Gamagatsu wide gap hook with a long shank on it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for both of these. You can see this setup, and I tied a loop knot, a large loop knot on this just to give it some extra action. 15 pound test, monofilament, and I got that on the, I haven't fished this rod yet. It's the first day I fished it. This is a 7.3 Heavy Rush, which is a step up from the Big Sexy. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to see that. It's got a little bit more sensitivity to it, and that's the setup. I can launch, launch this swim bait, throw it a long distance, and you just slowly reel it. I like this weightless hook for fishing this time of year, really shallow around grass. Um, and that fish came right off a point. We got a, uh, basically two or three big spawning flats in the back of here. And that fish came right here off this, off this point, post spawn, uh, coming out and just feeding up a little bit. So great little uh, setup for, for fishing post spawn fish. Great little setup here, guys. Oh man, they are schooling. Oh my gosh, they're schooling out in the middle too. Holy cow. They're going to town. Got him? Got him. Dang, dude, I got one right behind mine too. 
Holy cow. Dude, we just had a we just had a school of fish just came off. School of fish guys just came up. This this little front's got them got them going right now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're all over this point. Oh my gosh, look at that. Fits on there a lot better for some reason. They're about the same size. Oh, got him. Right there in that spot where they were. Nice. There we go. Switched right back to that big thing. <laughs> got bit. That's just crazy. That one's a little chunkier. A little chunkier. Yeah. I don't know about March March schooling though. I don't see that. Oh, don't see that too often. Got him on a fluke. There we go. Little guy. My body just said so. Dang guys, we're just running out of time here. They are just feeding up. All right, gang, thunder's rolling in. We gotta take it into the house, but we got a couple hours of fishing in and we caught uh, probably eight or nine fish and we had one real big one. And what were you throwing? You throwing some sort of, uh, like a spinner set, underspin? Yeah, I was throwing like a little underspin deal with a uh, rage swimmer, four and three quarter inch rage swimmer. That's uh, it's pretty scary when you watch this guy set the hook. It's even scarier when you watch him hit a human. <laughs> It's even scarier if you're that human. <laughs> exactly. Pretty awesome to uh, fish with Mr. Brian out here today. Give me a fist pump on that. Heck yeah, I had a blast, buddy. And uh, we did pretty good for uh, being restricted to this thunderstorm here. So uh, we'll be fishing the tournament this weekend, having a good time. We're going to have a bald eagle fly over us to end this video, guys. Sweet America. America! We'll see you on the next video.